You can use function breakpoints in VS Code to make the debugger break on a specific function based on that function's name, rather than having to create an explicit breakpoint based on line number. Now, they aren't supported in every language, but one language that does support them is C++. So in the C++ program, for example, say we wanted to debug the foo function here. Now, of course, I could just go and click on line 8 here, but maybe the foo function is located somewhere else in the code base. I don't really know where, and I can't really track it down. That's where function breakpoints might be useful. So to create a function breakpoint, I'm going to go to the debug view over here, and then go down to the breakpoints view inside of that. And I'll click on the little plus icon here, and I'll type in a function name that I'm interested in. So I'll just say foo here, and now you can see I have a function breakpoint. Now I'm going to actually start debugging this. Again, you can see I do not have any explicit breakpoints set here. I'll say F5, and it's going to compile this and then start debugging. You can see it's hit the start of our program, and then I'll say continue. And now you can see that it is actually broken inside of the foo function here. So again, that is the function breakpoint being hit. We did not have to create an explicit breakpoint based on line number. And if I continue over this and then uh, say continue, you can see there's a second call to foo down here. So we should hit foo again here. And sure enough, we can see that we have gone and hit the foo function again here using these function breakpoints. Now, another cool property of function breakpoints is that unlike normal line breakpoints, they will always be hit no matter where the code is. So let me go and create a line breakpoint here. If I was trying to debug foo using this line breakpoint, say I actually moved the foo function around, so I just moved it down in the file, you can see that the breakpoint has actually been left behind. So that would not be the, the breakpoint would not, no longer be hit, or it might even be hit in the wrong code. With function breakpoints, you don't have to worry about it, because again, it's looking at the function name. So I'm just going to start debugging, and foo will now be hit again, just because it's looking at the function name itself instead of looking at line numbers. So that's a quick look at function breakpoints in VS Code. Again, they aren't supported in every language, but in languages that do support them, like C++, they can really come in handy sometimes.